Now at five, the actor Johnny Depp is apologizing for comments that he made about President Donald Trump. Critics coming after the Pirates of Caribbean star who grew up here in Miramar for speaking about assassinating a president. In a statement to People magazine, he called it a bad joke. You're all a part of it. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? The comment coming as Depp introduced one of his movies at the Glastonbury Music Festival in the UK. He seemed to acknowledge his message would cause controversy, reportedly saying, this is going to be in the press. Moments later, Depp did go on to note, it's just a question, I'm not insinuating anything. And then he said this. I want to clarify, I'm not an actor. <laughs> I lie for a living. <laughs> However, it's been a while. <laughs> and maybe it's time. The comment is a clear reference to the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln at the hands of John Wilkes Booth, who was an actor. White House representatives quick to condemn the statement. It is, you know, frankly, in my, my belief, a little troubling, the lack of outrage that we've seen in some of these instances where people have said uh, what they've said with respect to the president and the actions that should be taken. Uh, the president's made it clear that we should denounce violence in all of its forms. Um, and I think that if we're going to hold to that standard, then we should all agree that that standard should be universally called out. Depp's comments come a little more than a week since a gunman targeted members of Congress practicing for a baseball game, leaving Representative Steve Scalise in critical condition. Earlier this month, comedian Kathy Griffin also set off a firestorm with this image, showing her holding a bloody severed head resembling President Trump. The Secret Service says that it is aware of Depp's statement but did not make any further comment. President Trump is not the first commander-in-chief to receive veiled threats from celebrities. Rocker Ted Nugent drew criticism in 2012 for saying that if President Obama was reelected, he would either be dead or in jail.